Hello, I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today we're going to talk about the subwoofer controls of the Atoto A6. So this is just a little add-on video. Here we are on a standard music player that comes with the Atoto A6. Here we're going to put play. We're going to click this little button right here. It's going to bring down here. We're going to go down here to subwoofer controls. Here we have 800, 120, and 160 Hertz You're probably not going to hear the difference when I click over this subwoofer. So I'm going to hit the subwoofer button. I Can hear it, but you probably won't hear it in the video Over here we have an a slash M button That a slash M button is automatic or manual So if I want more bass in the song because not all songs are created equal so some of them have more bass than others and if you want to add more, you just click this little button here. And we can just take this slider. And we can hear it just uh, pops right up there. If we click it off, now it's an automatic. So that can, is controlled by the volume of your stereo. So let's just hit the power up button and... Bring it back down that's one nice thing I like about this is either I hit the bottom uh, volume lower button or the volume increase button this little screen pops up and I can slide it with my finger super fast to get it to the volume I want without having to sit here and keep pressing this little volume control button you have two options to mute it of course you have the power button you can mute it and you can unmute it from here or mute it from here so those are your two options to mute the system I'm going to add on to another little thing. I left my keys in the car and I drained my battery all the way down. I came in to start it and the stereo popped on, but the car wouldn't start. And I probably did that a few times. And then when I finally got the car started, I found out that none of these buttons would work. The on screen would work just fine, but none of these buttons would work. So I had to physically come in here and hit the reset button. This little reset is right down in here. I pressed into it and now all the buttons work just perfectly fine. So if this ever happens to you where these buttons stop working, try hitting the reset button down here to reset it. Again, this is the Atoto A6. Uh, subwoofer output controls. My name is Scott with Psalms Photography, and thank you for watching.